this is the uh, base of the ZIS-30 self-propelled anti-tank gun and this is just for size comparison it's tiny I mean very tiny but the detail is really quite exquisite Finish another one. This one is the uh, ZIS-30, Soviet anti-tank, uh, light anti-tank weapon. It was one of the, this one is, deserves a small intro. Uh, it's not something that you see a lot of. Uh, finding photographs of them on the internet was uh, a chore. And even then, I could only come up with a couple that were decent, and none that showed an extensive amount of extra detail. Uh, it's a Hobby Boss kit, and therefore it is pretty well detailed unto itself. But there were a couple things I, I found in a photograph that uh, I wanted to add and did. notably the tow cable and what looks like a starter handle and I can only find that in one photo but let me give you a little brief description about it according to the documentation the ZIS-30 was one of a few hastily designed armored fighting vehicles created by the Soviet industry shortly after the German invasion of 1941 in August 1941 Graben's Design Bureau at the Gorky Plant Number no. 92 mounted the 57mm ZIS-2 gun onto the chassis of a oh that's a good one Komsomolit artillery tractor there were problems with the ability of both chassis and gun and only about a hundred were built um, it was a, it was a fun build it was it's tiny oh my gosh the the vehicle itself measures just under four inches from the back fender to the front uh, while the gun from the back to the front measures is just over five inches uh, not much bigger in size than the 148th uh, actually I think the 148th Sherman I built last is probably larger than this uh, from my understanding they also used it as a troop transport the kit came with enough parts that I probably could have built that instead basically they just mounted uh, seats on the sides 
and could probably carry I would guess about six armed combat troops the only protection however was just for the driver and co-driver uh, Lincoln link tracks um, photo etch came with it uh, if you're looking for quirky and an interesting looking vehicle uh, this is definitely one you should consider thanks for watching